Is that a Supra? Oh my God, is that a Supra? Oh my God, is that a Supra? Ah! Washing. Respect, you know. Anytime. Bro. Low life is the way. That's your car, man. Low life is the way. Alright peeps, what a go on, what a go on. So I am about to attempt to spray the brake booster that is going to be in the E30. And I actually went to a junkyard and got the um, this master cylinder to fit. Um, you know that can hold the pressure. Because I'm gonna be running tiny brake booster from a Suzuki Swift instead of no brake booster because the original E30 brake booster is way too big so it cannot hold in the car as well with the JZ so had a smaller one and that's what I'm gonna use so I will be putting it in a nice little purple color here and I will be also doing little accent colors with the same color in the engine base so I'm gonna use a primer to kind of cover some of the rust after I'm finished sanding it and as usual I'll be using the wire wheel to get off a lot of the rust and then smoothing it down with some sandpaper this will be um, 400 it's nothing too soft and delicate so you don't have to go any smooth smooth sandpaper so stay tuned you guys will see how it looks I'm gonna get started with some Alright, so I took off most of the rust and I'm going to go over it with the sandpaper now to kind of just smooth it down before I apply the primer. Alright guys, so this is how it looks with the first layer of the purple. I, um, I got carried away and forgot to show you guys how it looked with the primer on but um, it's pretty much just grey bland. Um, it covers the rust and it you know prevents it from being rusty again and then this is the first layer of the purple so looking pretty nice you know i am trying to get as much coat as possible before the daylight runs out so stay tuned i'll show you the update or the finished product things are supposed to scratch my bmw why you that tell me say with your little tire with that if you ain't ever scratch my bmw with your toyota yo yo what a go on, yo? Which man I run from the camera? Where you go? Man? Yo, we don't want to see your head back, Bridging. Talk to you now. What a go on? Where you care? Today is Sunday. Where you care? Come on, me, lad. Rice and peas, no cookie, you know? The cookie paint for you, though. The cookie paint? Yeah. Yeah, dude, bro. You're good. We're going to take it easy, man. Bam! I'm putting it in Yo, yo! Peeps! Look what a go on, huh? This is a cook for the sun there. <laughs> yeah, you what? Brims them nice. Brims them nice. Yeah, you what? Yo, yeah, lot of man out did yourself again, bro. Yo, yeah, me, I learned the trade too, you know. You know, so I spray something. Oh, yeah, I'll see if you're proud of me. Right. Take, take out the yeah. last one, I'm going to show you all. Go on, come on. <laughs> Wow, peeps, for all who didn't watch the previous vlogs where I showed you these before they were prepped and spray, I'm gonna show you guys. And this is the final product, they're looking nice. You even sprayed the inside that won't be shown in black. And inside part as well in the same bronze color looking fab. Love them. 
lip. Respect, you know. Anytime. You polish the lip, chrome the lip. Real nice. All hand work, no machinery. All right, you ready for me to show you how I go on? Yeah. Wow. What do you think about my rookie spray job? You know, bad, you know, bad. They're gone, you know. They're gone. They're gone. I mean, all those prime one thing, you know. Is it official like that? Yeah. What you choose to prime one thing? I'm bad, man. You soon take them out. I'm the road now, so where you are, man. That's how I must stop your room here. I'll learn the trade. They say you can go on. Yeah, you can go on, man. So, it's a Zoki Swift boost of this. I get the um, master slave cylinder to work with it. Which master you will use? I don't know what type it is. Update peeps, update. <clears throat> Alright, so mechanic is here again and we are sorting out the engine mount brackets to um, you know decide where the engine will fit or sit. And um, kind of get it centered or aligned so stay tuned i'll show you what's happening in a bit and what was done Yep, babes. Machine. Jay Z powered. <laughs> Purpose it on nice now, this door, yo. Where are they, Dave? Yeah, Where are Yeah, yeah, the while ago, I hear something like grumble, man. I said, no, sir. Tesla Boy Productions. Alexi, Alexi. There's a big foot there. Yeah, my Roman big foot, I do it. Samani, where is your big foot there? Big foot, I do it. Our peeps update. Show them how going. All right, so I just sprayed up the engine mount brackets, purple, and they are looking fab. Yeah, don't mind my big foot. So let's make them go and cool a little bit. We we'll drop them on back. Goodies for the E30. Right? After New Year's, but Christmas is here again. Alright, guys, you remember these? 
Suspension max speed for the E30. Alright. A lot of science behind this, you know, peeps. Med drop. It's at 21 and 3 quarter. Roll it with one, JV. Roll it with Twenty one and a half, it's a shot. They want to go three quarter. They want to go back. Uh, uh, quarter inch. Yeah, quarter inch. Quarter inch. Uh, quarter inch. Quarter inch. Three quarter. Alright, cool. This year, do this year, so. Nice, screw them. I'm sure you can do shot and then you can send the car to the part of the show. Should I just care about down to the three quarter? It's alright, so Jay-Z go sit down for this. Care go down, yeah, be too low, we care about it. Sanky, care down too? Yeah. Low life is the way. That's your car, man. Low life is the way. You be able to care down 20 inches. Yeah. Two of them are 20 and put it on. Alright. Try to see me go. Alright, cool. Yeah. Early the next morning. Good morning, y'all. It's a bright and early morning. Alright, so guys, this is a new day, and um, yeah, DIY to the world. So I am going to try and um, I bought some extended studs. So what I will be doing is, as you can see, this is Toyota stud and it doesn't fit flush like the Toyota hub where the splines you can knock them in and they would stay put. So I bought some longer ones because I will be cutting these right here and you know screwing them in and then tucking them at the back here so they will be firm instead of using the traditional BMW screwing studs I don't like these ones so conversion we say so I also bought some heater hose and bung because I won't be using these no AC will be running so I'm gonna block off these there's one here and there's one on the other side around this side here it is we don't tucked in the corner there yep so oh yes my good folks i wanted to talk about this as well so people i am using the e36 suspension or coilovers these are the non-damper ones because you know it's a budget build don't have no BC's money right now so working with what we have all right um, so as you guys know for who knows about BMW my car was converted to the five log already because I'll be running the five log um, well this is the Alteza setup big breaking um, E30 comes with the traditional four four stud or four logs pattern I'm running the 5x120 um, so I had to remote the Alteza 5x114.3 to fit and again guys who knows the E30 setup knows that it comes with the insert and spindle part is different it's not the double bolt up like the E36 so yeah a lot more conversion and stuff coming so stay tuned see what's up also at the back here i will be running a double caliper setup um, let me show you guys what's up on the other side bam bam jay-z to the world don't know peeps for updating you know because a lot of persons asking 
about the details they have similar bills so don't know helping out all who I can along the way this is also a learning process for me oh so peeps I'm running the the EK calipers Honda EK calipers for the second set and with the it fits flush with the, the rotor fits flush so it's this way is it but anyways yeah retrofitted them already and they fit very well uh, give you a little if you know but yeah it fits it fits very well peeps part go inside and that part would be outside so it would be like this bam so you guys can see it fits over the BMW one pretty nicely Sorry about the noise folks, so yeah, so this will be the second set of calipers and I'll be using back the OEM ones yeah, as well. OEM ones as well. So what will happen is that we're gonna remove the backing plate. That's this thing here, we started cutting it off. Um I'm gonna build a bracket second bracket to mount it so this is the original bracket here second one will sit somewhere up here yeah so yeah i'll show you guys what's up I haven't put on the rear suspension or coilovers yet but when we are around this side you will see what's happening accidentally cut the <laughs> back brake line but i'm gonna rebuild something yeah, update peeps. Update. Why people telling about the struggles you know? Junk. Since I moved it from out the sun and put it in the garage. Rodents are inside. But I have a plan for the rats man, don't worry. So updates. to the hub so I cut it off with angle grinder and also you know thread them back in so what I'm gonna do is just to just remove the pin from this part and go ahead and weld it 
so yeah basically conversion for the wheel studs stay tuned to see what's up Yeah, all right, so peeps may have something for showing you, know, but I you know, promise if you don't laugh, I can't laugh off of me because just I learn. <laughs> so the eye, the eye was trying to weld, you know, so I you have know, a beard, me, make some pills, you see me? So <laughs> go show you how I go and look. All right. Peeps, try a thing, you know. Try a thing, man, and I can't laugh. I look too bad. So them firm. It's not them firm. So just to make sure, I'm going to go back over it. Uh, make some more pills <laughs> over these pills that I tried to <laughs> sand down. And just to make sure it's you know not going anywhere and then I'm gonna go ahead and try the um, the wheel over it. Basically, this is a retrofit to the braking system. Um, I'm going to have to modify the spindle bracket because the Alteza braking that I want to use it's not fitting fully over the disc wheel. I want it to cover the rotors more. So moment I shoot let's see if the rims that I want to use will clear the brick so it will fit However, currently it's touching the caliper but when we build the bracket and have it sit flush it will fit but currently this is how it looks but yeah so update for now peeps retrofit looks nice huh? Oh? 